Welcome to Fitch Painting Repairs Garage. Today's project, we're going to do a little update on the 63 Triumph. It's been a while since I made a video, posted anything on here. Um, we're now into September uh, 2022. And um, we've had some issues with these carburetors on this bike. These Amal carburetors keep getting stuck. It's warped. And... Uh, I got some scarring on the piston on the slide in there and it just keeps getting all stuck and my throttle keeps sticking wide open and then I found that the gas tank was the fiberglass gas tank sporty tank that was on there it was just rotten with uh, holes in it um, we're gonna repair that with this we've got a set of uh, Makuni carburetors round slide Makuni carburetors we're gonna put on this and some air filters should make the bike run a little better and then we've got this gas tank over here. It's just rotten with a bunch of cancer. The fiberglass is really weak. And so we're gonna switch gears. I'm, I might try to re-glass it and re-resin it and fix that because I do like the look of that tank on the bike. It, it fits it way better than this one. But this is the tank I had on it when I first got it running. So we're just gonna clean it out with some vinegar and we're gonna um, put this one back on there. Um, what we did first is got a bunch of BBs, just brand new uh, BBs, and we put them in the tank and we just shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it to break the rust up. Use some compressed air to blow out the dust. And then afterwards I removed them all with a magnet and then I took some vinegar. So I got one whole gallon of vinegar in there right now. We're gonna let it sit overnight and cure with that vinegar and then we're going to work on getting these carburetors installed they look pretty good They're very clean um, they came off a bike a running bike you know so they look like they had a little you know running but very clean they look almost brand new so we'll see not quite brand new but you know we're gonna put them on there and see what it does <coughs> Hopefully that solves a problem with this running issue. Um, you know, pretty much everything else is ready to go on it. So we're going to clean that tank out. We're going to possibly try to re-glass that one. I'm not sure yet. <coughs> it's pretty rotten, but <coughs> it might take a while to clean it. So we're going to go ahead and try to get them carburetors installed. Uh, probably going to wait till tomorrow to install them. Um, and then, uh, you know, look for an update. Yeah, we'll get that set up. Hopefully this bike is running right. Now, <clears throat> here's the 67. Y'all have been looking at that one as I was moving around in here. 67 is running really, really, really great. I've been riding it. Um, it's pretty much taken over as my fun ride. Uh, poor Dinah's been sitting over there, and the other bikes are just kind of waiting. <laughs> and so, um, 67 is running great. So keep, you know, we're probably going to do some paint work on it. We're just waiting for the uh, cooler weather here in Florida. It's too humid right now. So we're just going to run it with this, you know, old tank on there. Um, she's running great. So, <clears throat> and I rode her today. And you can see there's a one or two little drops down under there. But, you know, that's it. She's not leaking oil. Push rod tubes are looking pretty good. Yeah, she's she's a good running engine. Very good running. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and put a set of McCoonies on that other one. So, stay tuned. Hopefully, 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 these are really good carburetors and I don't have to do anything to them. So, stay tuned. <laughs> 